Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. I don't know what you came to do this morning, but I come to praise the Lord. He has been good to me. He has been good to me. And I praise him this morning, God. I praise you this morning, God. The Alpha and the Omega. The beginning and the end. The first and the last. You are God and God all by yourself. You need no help from us this morning, God. God, we are created this morning to worship you. And worship is what we are here to do, God. Those who are in the sanctuary and those who are at home watching via Facebook or Zoom, praise God. I pray this morning that you don't come to spectate, but you come this morning with a worship in your heart for God this morning. I pray this morning that you come to give him all that you have and even that you don't have, you give it to him this morning. I pray this morning that you come this morning with a boldness this morning. I come this morning to, to tell him thank you God for what you have done. I come this morning to tell you God that you are great and greatly to be praised this morning God. I come to tell you God the week that has
morning. We're going to lift the roof off this place this morning. And those who are home, come on, let us worship. Let us worship, God. We release the worship to the home this morning, God. We release worship this morning into the home this morning, God. Some are going to cast this morning, God. Some are depressed. Some are on the verge this morning, God. But this morning, this morning, God, it's a new day. It's a new season. And we're going to give you the praise. Here's of how we're feeling this morning, God. This morning, oh God, anything, anything that is not of you this morning, God, we remove it. God, you remove it this morning, God. Remove it that worship will be easy. Music will be played easily. Worship like never before this morning, God. This morning we're coming, God, armed and dangerous. Hallelujah. Armed and dangerous. This morning I lift you up. Hallelujah. I God. I lift you up above everything, God. This morning, God, I come to praise you. I come to praise you, my God. I'm a father, the first father. The first father.
and attend to no understanding. For I give you doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live. Give wisdom, give understanding, sorry, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not. Neither decline from the words of my mouth. But forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is a principle of all that get him, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thy head an ointment of grace. A crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my saying, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in the right in right path. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it. Turn from it and pass away. For thy sleep not, for they sleep not, it's taken away unless they cause some to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is the shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not as what they, they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thy, thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth, and preserve limb. Put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the, the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right, and nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. And that's a father's wisdom. A father's wisdom. We honor God's word by saying, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was the beginning, now it shall be, where it will end. Amen. Praise God. At this time, I'm going to, I want to welcome Bishop, one more time. Happy Father's Day, uh, Bishop. Again, I will welcome and I will say Happy Father's Day to the pastor, Pastor Oral Richards. God bless you. God bless you all. And all the men that are in the sanctuary, God bless you. Have a wonderful Father's Day. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. We bless the Lord. Praise God. And I will do a new thing in you I will do
Hallelujah. We give you faith. Hallelujah. We worship you. We worship the healer. We have watched Hallelujah. Thank you, God. I thank you. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. I thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
you don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. And that's oh, where we cast hallelujah. all the cares upon him. Because he cared Jesus. for us this morning. Thank you, God. He cares. Hallelujah. He cares. Jesus. Sometimes we forget that yes, he cares. Lord, yes. Sometimes we give up hallelujah. and say, God, you don't care. Because we don't see what he yes, is doing. Yes. But yes. our faith, our faith, yes, our faith, hallelujah. our faith. Hallelujah.
standing on the solid yes, rock. No. Yes. We're Jesus. standing on the solid rock. Yes, we are standing on the solid rock this morning. Yes. A rock cannot be moved, no. cannot be shifted. No. This morning, we're grateful to you. We're grateful to you this morning. We're grateful to you this morning. We are grateful. Grateful people this morning. Grateful people. This time, I am going to be I'm going to give the man of God the helm this morning. And it's Pastor Oral. Welcome, Pastor Oral. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, bless the Lord. Oh, bless the Lord in the morning. Let us worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, there is that need to be broken today. Let the Christian for them. Worship the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 When it's inside of you, you don't need to have a pump up. Thank you. 
Jesus. Do you want to hear that? When I look back over my life uh, and I see what he brought me out of, uh, when I see what he brought me through, uh, when I see what he kept me from, uh, I can't do anything uh, but praise him. I can't do anything uh, but worship him. Uh, hallelujah. His very name demands it. said I would have tell it to a living soul how about salvation and I made me whole but I couldn't hide the love of Jesus I can't hide this fire that is it's hard to be burning and sit still when fire is burning there must be reaction Glory to God. Satan thought he had me, but Jesus set me free. Glory, hallelujah. Tired of the same old, same old, same old. Hey, Shakara, when you come to the house of God, come with a worship. You see, if you have not been doing anything during the week, it's hard to prime and pump it up on Sunday morning. But when you've been feeding it during the week, it's easy to come Sunday morning and let it flow. Yes. said I feel fire shut up in my bones glory to God 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 The water is troubled. Step in with your faith. Jesus! 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 Hallelujah! My God! Hallelujah! My God! My God! Hallelujah! Yes, I tell you, no, no. I never get used to a dry service. Come on, church. If he's alive, then something living must be moving inside of you. You're either hot or you're cold. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God, glory 
to God. Go ahead and worship Him. Yes, ancient of days. Hallelujah. We lift you up. We adore you. We worship you. We give you everything, Lord. Hallelujah. You know my going in and my going out, oh God. You know every being, oh God. You know every strand, oh God. You know everything of my makeup, God. That there is nothing reserved for me. It is all for you, God. I pray you will never get satisfied or feel comfortable in a dead service. It's not good enough to just go through the motions, run down the program, and not give the Holy Ghost a chance to move. Not that he can't move quickly, but sometimes there's some things in us that need working on. And a little jumping in and out can't do it. You need to be saturated in the presence of God. Let that anointing marinate you. Hallelujah. And when he applies the fire, glory to God, there is nothing standing in the way between you and him. Hallelujah. Nothing between my Lord and my Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I thank you. Glory to God. Glory to your name, Jesus. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 I can tell you he is here. If you're not feeling him, you just need to go a little deeper. But I'm telling you, he is here. My God, We were singing that song, I think it's touching Jesus. Glory, glory, glory. And I started to hear the drums play. Yes, Jesus. And two or three times I had to look Thank over you. to see Thank you, Jesus. if there was somebody there. There was Thank nobody you, there. Thank you, God. Listen, I'm going to go up into the realms and unlock a spiritual door that God will send up some permanent musicians uh, that will know their assignment. Uh, hallelujah. And when it comes to worshiping in Zion, uh, they know their post. And nothing else takes priority. In the name of Jesus, we unlock that door. Yes for musicians. Yes for drummer. Yes for bass guitar. Yes for keyboard. And every other instrument to bring glory to God in Jesus' name. You think I'm joking? Watch God. Watch God. Watch God. God gave a word at the end of the fasting yesterday. He said, I'm tired of the excuses. This is an inexcusable season. He's tired. You're not even giving him what's left. Forget about the best. Some are not even giving him what is left. And he's tired of it. And he's going to start holding people accountable. Hallelujah. Take heed, church. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Take you. heed. Hallelujah. Not even what is left are some giving him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. They say it's time to pull up the bootstrap, tighten the belt, square the back, and get ready to enter back in to the presence of God. God is tired of the foolishness. Before you were complaining, say, oh, work. I can't reach home in time. I can't do this. I can't do that. And he shut the whole place down. And you take his time and make it your time and put your personal stuff above his stuff. Yes, God. Yes. 
so you're not even giving him what is left. My God, my God. And he said, watch me and them. I'm tired and sick of it. Jesus. 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 It's in your hands. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise Thank God. You. Praise God. Let me greet you in the name of Jesus. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers online. Amen. Amen. I greet the brethren online also. Praise God. You know, it was when everything was open, plans for Father's Day would remain until when? After service. Now people are making plans during service and say, oh, I can catch it later. You know what? I delivered the message. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Let me say happy Father's Day to Bishop. Amen. Amen. I tell you, it takes a certain type of person God. to have so many ministers and psalmists and you name it in the kingdom come out from your ministry or be sent forth from your ministry and not let it get to your head. Amen. Don't have to drive the bends and live in the big house. Amen. To show that, hey, I'm spiritually rich. But serving Jesus is all that really matters. Amen. Happy Father's Day, sir. At this time, he's going to be coming to us with an item. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I just want to say thanks to each and every one for your prayers and happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Praise God. Amen. And I hope you keep up the good work. I know sometimes it's tough, but keep it up. Praise God. And this song is about
Amen. 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 Nekoyan da da bo soto. 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 Nekoyan da da b
The blood of Jesus is against you. They shall not die, they shall live. And declare the words of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. For all that you have done, what you are doing, and what you are about to do. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for this day. This time, this moment, this minute that you have blown out to us, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for keeping us, for sustaining us. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 When everything fails. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My God. My God. My God. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. My God. Hallelujah. Jesus. 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 always there, 
T, trustworthy, H, honoring, E, ever loving, R, righteous, S, supportive. Today, we recognize fathers who speak into their child, children's life, stand by them during good times and bad times, and lead as how God would lead as a father. Thanks for being that guiding light and the precious life lessons. Thanks for providing and always made time for your children. Thanks for encouragement and endless support, your patience and love, your guidance and wisdom. Continue to be the foundation that the Lord called you to be. Amen. Happy Father's Day once again to all you fathers. Amen. Normally, I wouldn't be around on a Father's Day. I would be away with my father. But because of the pandemic, this is my second year being here. But I thank God for the opportunity to be in the house today. Amen. And I want to say happy Father's Day to my father too. Amen. And Amen. today also is my second son's birthday. Yeah. So happy birthday to my son. He wasn't born on Father's Day. That's so happened that this year the calendar shifted and his birthday happened to fall on this day. So have a God bless day to all you fathers. Praise God. Keep strong. Keep the Lord at the forefront. Hallelujah. 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 We can't do anything without him. Amen. The Lord bless you and keep you. Amen. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you Hallelujah. and be gracious unto you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Shall we bless the Lord? Praise the Lord. You know, is is the Lord was ministering through you, prophetess. I kept hearing in my ears, witchcraft in the pews. Witchcraft in the pews. Mighty God. The latter half of this week, I've been wrestling in my spirit against church split. And I went to God about it. Because that's not my church. It's his church. Amen. And he assigned some seraphims to this ministry. Yes, sir. And I told him I put the care and integrity of this ministry into their hands. Amen. Whatever they have to do to see that no shame or disgrace comes to this ministry, they are free to do it. What am I saying? We're living on dangerous grounds. Amen. Hallelujah. Some things are going to start to happen. You're going to start to hear some news. And as much as it may be hard to not feel sorry, But I've learned to stand on the side of Christ. Hallelujah. Take heed. Hallelujah. Evil never overcomes good. Sure. Darkness will never overcome light. All right. Satan will never win Jesus. Hallelujah. Never. No matter how it looks like it's going that way, it will never happen. Never, ever. So if you're smart, You'll sit down and ponder about it and make the right decision. Hallelujah. True. Witchcraft in the pews. Yes. And it may shock some of you who it's coming through. Believe it, sir. Praise God. Hallelujah. But we have an anchor that grips the soul. Steadfast and sure as the billows, as the billows roll. roll. And we are anchored to that rock that cannot be moved, that cannot be, moved, cannot be shifted, cannot be bought out, Hallelujah. Mm. Hallelujah. cannot be paid, Hallelujah. given a little something on the side. Glory. Hallelujah. Righteous. My God. Hallelujah. Faithful is his name. Amen. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just remain safe, fast, and movable. Jesus. 
Make sure you are one that yes, makes it into heaven. Yes, almighty God, I thank you. Even if you have to put blinders on like they do on the horses, just to keep. Hallelujah. Sometimes put your phone on mute to help people don't call you because you can't afford to miss heaven. It's Hallelujah. that serious. Satan has pulled out all the stops. My God, is really Because he knows his time is short. Hallelujah. Hmm? Yes. Thank you, God. I remain steadfast. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Amen. You. It is with great honor today, you know, our minister coming to us today. Amen. She's a, a, a side warrior, let me put it that way. And I've watched her grow in prayer. Even to the point many times I have to stop praying and just listen. And it astounds me the growth that the Lord has. And I'm excited to be to see what he has for her in the future. Amen. Amen. Pray her up. Don't, don't stop praying for her. I know we dress good, we look good, we talk good and all that kind of stuff, but... We still need the prayer. Amen. Amen. Don't let the clothing fool you. <laughs> Praise God. So without any further ado, I welcome to the pulpit no other person than First Lady Faithful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you to keep on praise the name of Jesus just be there for your children yes be there for your children I know sometimes it's hard physically you can't be in the home with them but just a phone call a child knows that you are there yes. makes a huge difference Hallelujah. if we look at look at the statistics today the children who are troubled most I'm gonna say most of the children who are troubled the fathers are missing in the home. Missing in the home and missing out of their lives. So even if you cannot be present in the home with them, just ensure that they know I'm only a phone call away. Amen? And may God bless you and keep you. Uh, fathers have their own struggles too. You know that? And we, we always say some mothers are mothers and fathers, but some fathers are fathers and mothers. Yeah. 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 We always just think it's just the woman who's um, always doing double duty. But there are some men out there that are doing double duty. And my heart goes out to you. My heart goes off to you. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. So enjoy your day. Whatever you, there is planned today, just enjoy it. Don't rush it. Yeah. Enjoy it because you deserve Amen. that. Amen. Amen. I want to say thank you for all those who have been praying for me. The enemy, <laughs> the enemy knew that, knew about the assignment and was trying to not let it come to fruition. But because of the prayers of the saints today, I'm standing here. Hallelujah. Even though I'm standing here, I still needed to be praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I'm just going to sing this little chorus. And then we'll get right into the word. We prayed and God delivered. We prayed, God stopped the war. We Sing that. 
Chapter 6 and verse 17. Second Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 17. And it says, Wherefore, come out from among them and be separate, saith the Lord, and touch not the unclean thing, and I will receive you. Revelations 21 and verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and warmongers and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. This is a second death. Amen? Yeah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 Come on. Bless the name of Jesus, somebody. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We give you thanks, Jesus. 
You see, in the in the name, if we name the name of Jesus Christ, if we say that we are called, if we call ourselves Christians, God is calling us to be separate. Amen. Amen. God is calling us to be holy and to walk righteously. And to be the light. Oh, yeah. We no longer have the right to live life the way we knew it. Amen. The way we feel. We no longer have that opportunity to live the way we feel. To live the way everybody else wants us to live. To live the way that our friends influence is influencing us to live. And I'm saying, I'm speaking to us that are called today. That are, that are calling, that are saying we are saved. We're called, we're called by Jesus Christ. I no longer have certain rights. You see, we're meddling in sin. We cannot be saved and have no character. We cannot say we are saved, but we're unforgiving. We cannot be saved, yet we're lying and we're stealing and we hate. Have you ever come across some Christians? We cannot be saved, but yet we're malice. Saved, but we're adulterers and fornicators. Hallelujah. When Christ comes into our hearts, we should not have place for any of these things to germinate. Amen? In 2 Corinthians 6, 17, the Lord tells us to come out from among them and be separate. And touch not the unclean thing. You see, God is calling us to be separate. Separation calls for a long time. And it can be tough. Some folks suffer anxiety if they're alone. Some people yeah. cannot be alone. Yeah. But know that this separation that God calls us to, yeah. we are never alone. Yeah. There's a, a, an unseen army that is always with us. Yeah. We are never alone at any given time. Because surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Hallelujah. And you see, when you decide to be separate, you are going, you're not going to be popular. You just have to be determined that no matter what, I am going to embark on this separation journey. Because the end result meaning I'm going to spend eternity with Christ. Forget about the naysayers. And live a life that pleases God, Amen. not man. Amen. Separation comes with blood, sweat, Amen. and tears. To a child, a parent having a child going off to kindergarten for the first time. And that child, the parent stands at the door and it's a tug of war to let the child in. Because it's the first time. Hallelujah. But the minute the teacher says, that's it, we have to go now. It's either the child goes off crying or the parent goes their way secretly wiping the tears. Make sure that they're okay. Yeah. But what is the end result? The child comes out with an education. Yeah. The parent is proud, the child is proud. Right? But that initial is what God is asking us to do today. Too long we have been sitting on the fence. First Kings 18 and 21 says, how long how long will you halt between two opinions? If the Lord be God, then follow him. Rather and Pastor talked about this earlier. Because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I, God, will spew you out of my mouth. So we must choose to be either hot or cold, in or out. It cannot be two ways. I'm talking to us Christians today. Yes. Because we have a way of dibbling and dabbling. We're going in, one day we're up, the next day we're down. It's time to pack up the dolly house and begin to walk circumspectly before God. God is tired of the seesaw business up and down. Just because we choose to double, we choose to go back to the things that send a stench to God's nostrils.
Israel. God said to come out from among them. Among who? Among what? And I think when we hear that scripture, we're thinking, come out from the world. Yes. We need to come out from the world. The world is the unsaved. Those are the unbelievers. Right? Yes. But let me tell you something. Inside the church, we need to come out from some that is inside the church. Because the scripture tells us that the wheat and tears must grow together to the day of harvest. That means within the church, there is wheat and there is tears. Hallelujah. And so we now need to ask for the spirit of discernment. Glory to God. So we know who is a tear. And you don't associate yourself with the tears. Come out from among them. You Once you begin to discern that the brother or the sister are not walking. But that's not where you're going to get your source from. That's not where you're going to feed from. You must come out from among them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's look at Revelation 8, 21 and 8. It gives us some more detailed things of the things that we need to really come out from. The fearful. The unbelieving. The abominable. Murderers, hallelujah, warmongers, sorcerers, idolaters, and liars. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Did you know that they're in the church? Oh, yes. Did you know that they sit beside you Sunday after Sunday? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The fearful. God says, the word of God, Hebrews 11, 6 says, without faith, it is impossible to please God. So we need to stop associating ourselves with those who spread fear. They're always negative. So true. Worse in this day and time that we're living in with Corona. So true. You have some that just want to seek out everything negative about Corona and the vaccine. Why you should take it? Why you shouldn't take it? And if they hear anything positive, they're not sharing it with you. Because they are, they are fearful and they're spreading fear. No joke. Come on now. Come on. Speak, sister. Speak. God is saying to us today, come out from among them. You being my child, you, don't, you belong to me. You listen to me. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. You trust me. You look up to me. Yes. Glory to God. Not to uh, your brother and your sister that is spreading fear. Glory to God. The next one is the unbelieving. In Mark 9, we find the man with the son that was possessed. And the disciples could not cast the demon out. Why? Because of unbelief. They were called, amen? They were Christians. They were like you and I. But they couldn't cast it out. Why? They were saved, but they, were, they have unbelief. And the same thing today. Without faith. How can we say we are born again? We are hearing what? The word of God. So we need to feed our spirit man the word. Hallelujah. Glory to God. The abominable. We must come out from those that are abominable. Meaning those who cause disgust or hatred and very sinful. These people, their conducts are offensive to God. They live in open sin. They don't care if you know that they are sinning. They are abominable. 
Jesus. We are in the church. We don't need to look in the world for any of this. Come out from among the warmongers. Those are the ones who indulge in impure lust, of fornication and adultery. They defy their neighbor's wives. And when we talk about neighbors, we're not talking about the person who lives beside your next door. And my God, sleep around. You're married, but you're not satisfied. And you sleep around. You are a lord monger. Yes. Keep your body under subjection until God gives you the go ahead. Hallelujah. Moving ahead of God and taking what you want, saying, The Lord is my shepherd. I see what I want. Huh? But you don't go back to God and say, God, is this, is this the plan you have for me? I see what I want, so I'm going to take it. Come on, come on, come on, somebody. Come on from this type that make you think it's okay to taste and see. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah, you can do it. And then I... Presumptuous, very presumptuous. <laughs> Glory to God. They make you believe others are doing it, so it's okay. And because they have done it, they have done it, and they went again and do it and redo it, and no consequences. They think all is well. Why? Because their conscience is now smeared. Ah. Glory to God. So now they come and they're looking company. You can you can do this. You can do that. It's okay. Warmongers, but payday. Payday is coming. No sin goes unpunished. Ah, I tell you, no sin go unpunished. You might you might get away with it for a little while, but trust me, payday is coming. And some of the things that you come upon and you think, why Lord? Why me? Why this? Is pay for the sin you commit. Come out from those who are sorcerers. Those who are involved in witchcraft and voodoo and whatever color magic you want to call it and portions. Those who cast spells and, and have charms to protect themselves. Those who go here and there to get a bath. Hallelujah. Come out from the they put up whatever artifacts in their home and in their workplaces for protection. You go in their car, you see certain symbols for protection. They tie this red piece or whatever piece of string around their bodies. Sorcerers! Any time before they enter their homes. Sorcerers! Conjuring up the dead to protect them. Secretly reading their horoscopes. Hallelujah! I'm running out to buy lotto tickets. <laughs> Going and getting their palms red. Sorcerers. Glory to God. The idolaters. They worship anything except God. Yes. Worship some people. You ever hear them? It's okay. You go to college, you get your education, your university, your kids are successful. But every second word out of your mouth is my son, this, my daughter, this, my, my, my career, this, my house, this, my. God. You're worshiping. Your career, you're worshiping the son and your daughter, you're worshiping the car you drive, the house you live in. God said, Have no other gods before me. Some of us, we can't miss a TV show or a movie. Put two things before you. It's church or this. Which one you going to pick? That's who you're worshiping. Idolatrous. Hallelujah. I won't be long. I'm coming down. Liars. <laughs> Liars. Liars. <laughs> You can't keep a story straight. You say you see it, but you can't keep this. This week you say it's this, and next week you have ten more things to it. Liars! You're preaching the word, but you're lying. You're prophesying, but you're lying. You're leading the worship team, but you're lying. You're ushering, but you're lying. You're cleaning the church, but you're lying. 
Somebody might have killed somebody. And come and say, I didn't do it. Is that a body just not this thing over you and say, I didn't do that? Is that a small lie? Lie. Lie. At the end of the day, it's spelled the same way. It's a lie. And lying is sin. Some of us will lie to get what we want and then we turn around and say, let them know who you really are and watch God work it out. You watch God work it out based on the truth. Then you can stand up and give God glory. You're going to give God glory for lying. God didn't give it to you. Liars. False witnesses. Glory to God. And when we lie, we take one liar, we cover the other. Who is the father of lies? Oh, hallelujah. And he knows our weaknesses. He knows our weaknesses. Because if he knows that I love to lie, he's going he's gonna to use that every single chance he gets. And until I get deliverance from it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So you know your brothers and your sisters that you know when they're lying to you, you know. You know when they're lying to you. You might not know it right away, but you're going to figure out that they lie to you. Come out from among him or her. Come out. That's what the scripture says. And it, it, it didn't say liar. What do the word? Look at the word properly. It says all. All. All liars. Come on, says we need to practice telling the truth. Even when it hurts. Speak the truth. Speak it ever. Cause it what it will. He who hides the wrong he does. Does the wrong still. The wrong thing still. Praise the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lying is sin. God hates sin. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Yeah, but you, 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 all of us, I think all of us in here can, can attest to this. We have people in our lives that we love. Right? Yeah. But sometimes there's something about them that just annoys you. You yeah. hate it. Yeah. Uh, something they say or do or yeah. you hate it. Yeah. But you love the person, right? Yeah. That's God. He hates the sin, but he loves the sinner. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We need to overcome these things. Live a life that is separate from these. And as Revelation 21, the verse before 7 says, if you overcome them, if you overcome these things, you shall inherit all things. You shall inherit all things. And God will be our God. Amen, somebody. And we will be his sons. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. Bless the name of Jesus. The scripture said all of these that I named before, all of these have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Hey, my God. If you do not choose to separate, this is going to be your end result. Hallelujah. You shall have your part mm. in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone. Glory to God. You have a decision to make, saints, to walk separate, to walk upright, to walk holy. It, don't matter, it doesn't matter what. Walk holy. We are called out. We are peculiar. Glory to God. It might hurt, but you have to do it if you want to make heaven. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So I want to thank you so much today for tuning.
your ears to these words that the Lord has given unto me to share with you. The Lord wants us to live upright. To live separate. Glory to God. Separate your, yourself. Separate yourself. Separate yourselves from the things that are displeasing unto God. May God bless you today. May God keep you. May you ponder these words and may they find you. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, as Pastor comes and close up for us today. God bless you. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Come up from among them. My God, a warning to the church. Amen. Come out from among them. You see, many have come out of Egypt, but there's still some Egypt inside of them. And that is what the Lord wants you to let go. Amen. So he's fully inside of you. What a word. What a word. Yeah. These messages that are coming. I hope you don't just let them in one ear and out the other. But you take them and meditate on them. And you pattern your life after them. It's the unwatered down, uncompromised word of God. God is either holy or he isn't. He either call you to be holy like himself or he didn't. Hallelujah. All liars. Learn to tell the truth. It may cause some people to leave you, but that's all right. What is a friend that would want you to go to hell with a lie? You're not a friend at all. Amen. Praise God. Let us stand. We thank Lady Faith for that message. Praise God. And we look forward to the Lord using her to bring many more. Amen. A motherly message to the children. Walk upright. Make sure your house is in order. Hallelujah. Praise God because I'm coming soon. Hallelujah. Father, we give you glory, honor, and praise. We thank you for another word, Lord, for your people to come out from among them, to come out from among the shadows. Oh God, hallelujah, hallelujah, to shake off worldliness, to shake off compromisation. Oh God, hallelujah, to not fall for the false gold, oh God, and all that glitters, oh God, but to go for the real thing, not to compromise or inheritance, God, hallelujah, but to walk steadfast according to your word. Let this word, oh God, rivet it to our spirit, oh God. Let it marinate, oh God, and meditate in our spirit, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let the convicting power of your Holy Spirit, Lord, bring it back to the minds of your people, God, that they will let go of pride, let go of everything uh, that they thought was important uh, to be somebody. Jesus is the only center of this thing. Uh, it is only Jesus that we look to and we walk after. Paul said, follow me as I follow Christ. Uh, Jesus is the head and nothing else, God. Hallelujah. 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 Was to make you the center of our life. Yes, Hallelujah. Not the end, not the middle, Thank but the Lord. head. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you said, All other things shall follow. Thank you, praise your holy name when we submit to you, Father. And we give you praise. We ask that you strengthen, Lord, your prophet is God. That you, O oh God, begin to do a work in her, God, in the name of Jesus. That you begin to let a fire be kindled inside of her, God, to bring forth an uncompromised, unwatered down message, God. You told Ezekiel to set his face as a flint, 
uh, against the people when they start to steer and give them certain looks. Father, we pray that same anointing in God for God that she set her face as a flint uh, as she delivers the raw word of God, not dressed up, oh God, to try and please and soothe uh, man's feelings, oh God, but let it come down like a hammer and break what needs breaking, oh God, hammer down what needs hammered down, oh God, and shock who needs shocking, shock them out of the sin, shock them out of the compromise, shock them out of the foolishness, into the reality of who you are, and what you stand for, in Jesus' name, and Father, we pray for every father right now, in every home that is missing a father, whether through the Father not being there or the Father having gone on, we pray the comfort of the Holy Spirit enter into that home now. Be a father to the fatherless, Lord. I pray for Brother Collins, Lord God, as he has lost his mother, Lord God. We pray the comfort of the Holy Spirit, Father, will surround him, O God, and bear him up in the name of Jesus Christ uh, of Nazareth. Uh, is the words that uh, the songwriter says, farther along we'll know all about it. We don't understand everything uh, that goes on now. All we know is that we submit to your will, God, and sometimes it makes us feel good, and sometimes, O oh God, it makes us feel, oh God, in a way, but Father, we submit anyways, Lord, and we know, oh God, that the right steps of a righteous man are ordered by you, God, and sometimes it's not the steps that, that we would take, God, but you sit high, you sit farther, and you know best, and we submit ourselves to that. We pray for those that have given offerings and seeds in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that you bless them, Father, as you see fit in Jesus' mighty name. Bless the tithe and the offering and the seeds, Lord God. Those that have committed, O oh God, and are paying their tithe faithfully, God, I pray in the name of Jesus uh, that any door, Father, that they are standing before, that they need open, that you will open it in the name of Jesus. Uh, anything, O oh God, that their hearts desire, Father, that you would give it unto them in the name of Jesus Christ uh, of Nazareth Father and those oh God that are not working we pray in the name of Jesus uh, that opportunities of employment present themselves uh, to them in the name of Jesus uh, and all in all Father receive all your glory and we thank you for visiting us here today in Jesus mighty name we pray Amen and as we're about to be dismissed from this place Father but not from your presence. Let the presence of your Holy Spirit overshadow us. Commit us into the safety of your angels, O oh God. As we commit ourselves into your hands, Father. Watch over us in the name of Jesus. Uh, keep us from wickedness, O oh God. Keep us from the evil one, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ uh, of Nazareth. And be glorified, Father, with what we offer up in Jesus' name. And the church said... Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your Father's Day. Amen.